Hi, it's Ali. I'm here with Mugar Library, and we're in the GSU for Banned Books Week, reading from some of our favorite banned books. Uh, banned Books Week is taking place this year between September 22nd and 28th. In front of Mugar, we have a table full filled with a bunch of wonderful banned books, and we have lists of the banned classics, the banned contemporary books, and we're holding a t-shirt contest where you can sign up and put in your favorite banned book, and we'll raffle off free t-shirts. Uh, we also have candy, which is the most important part of the day. Uh, the Catcher in the Rye, Fahrenheit 451, the whole entire Harry Potter series, Gone with the Wind, Lolita, um, most of the books that are basically displayed on the table. I learned there are a lot more banned books than I thought there were, like a lot of books I wouldn't expect to be banned. Like, I don't really agree with it, I don't like it. to ban books and to ban those certain ideas is to, first of all, deny people their First Amendment right, but it also denies audiences their right to think and their right to be opened up to these new ideas. Everybody should have a right to read what they want. Everybody should have a right to write what they want and you know have other people read it, you know. And people can choose whether they agree with the words or not, you know. And their characters can't be tested. It's like living in a box. You know, it's like would you rather live ignorant or aware? And I feel like that's what fan books stuff.